This video covers the split presentation feature inspired by Microsoft Excel. It allows you to split the grid into two independently scrollable panes. You can split the grid vertically and thus edit the last grid row in one pane while simultaneously looking at the first grid row in another pane. The same applies to columns when the view is split horizontally. This can help end users browse and analyze data with lots of columns or rows. Let's start with a sample application with the data grid connected to a sample Microsoft AdventureWorks database, a large database with lots of records and data fields. Such a layout can benefit from using a split view presentation. One way to enable this feature is to drop the grid split container control onto the form instead of the grid control. This would create a grid control within the split container with all required settings. Since the form already has a grid in it, invoke the grid control smart tag and click the add split container link. You won't notice the changes at design time, but your grid is now placed into a split container and you can split it into two regions. Before you proceed, go to the Grid Views Properties, the Options menu section. Make sure that the Show Split Item property is set to True. Now run the application. Right click the Group by Box and select Split from the Context menu. By default, a splitter divides the grid vertically. You can individually scroll each pane vertically. Horizontal scrolling affects both panes. Now let's return to design time. Select the grid split container and change its horizontal property to true. Now the split menu item divides the grid into two panes horizontally. You can individually scroll each pane horizontally while vertical scrolling is synchronized. You can, of course, enable split presentation at the application startup or implement a custom UI element that would switch this mode on or off. This can be an item in the ribbon control. To toggle the split view mode, call the grid split containers show split view and hide split view methods. Make sure to call the show split view in the forms constructor so that the split container is automatically enabled at application startup. One more thing you can do is scroll the second pane so that end users don't see the same data in both sections. You'll need to access the secondary grid using the split containers split child grid property. Then you obtain the grid's main view and set its top row index property. Now run the application. You can see that on application startup, the primary grid displays the first data rows as it did before, but the secondary grid is now scrolled down to the bottom. Notice that by default, you are free to focus different data rows in each of the grid regions. You can change that by setting the synchronize focused row property to true. Now focusing the row in one region will cause the other region to scroll up or down to this row and focus it as well. You can also see that horizontal scrolling affects both panes at once. To change this, set the synchronized scrolling property to false. You can now scroll the two panes independently using their individual scroll bars. Finally, any data shaping operations applied in one grid pane are reflected in the other pane. For instance, I can group my data against a column and the same grouping will be applied to the other pane. 
group row expand and collapse operations are also synchronized. This behavior is controlled by the synchronized views and synchronized expand collapse properties. Switch the synchronized views properties to false. Now, if you group data against a column, nothing happens in the other pane.